All right, guys, here we are. So I have a Rivian R1T, large pack, quad motor, and we're towing an A-liner with it. So this is a little pop-up camper that makes an A-frame. I'll put a little picture there so you guys can see what it is. So what we think is gonna happen is, because this truck pretty much covers the aerodynamic of the trailer, I don't know if we're gonna lose too much range here. So let me show you how it looks from the front. There we go. So look at that. It pretty much covers all of the trailer, almost everything. So let's go for a little test loop and see what kind of efficiency we get, all right? So we just reset the trip meter and off we go. We're gonna do a quick loop test right here. Uh, we're not gonna do a full loop test with full range. We're actually starting at 58% right now. And we'll see where we get. Okay, we're gonna get in the highway here shortly. How does it feel? Audrey, how does it feel? Feels like there's nothing back there. Interesting. Yeah, so we're st still trying to figure out the trailer brake gain, how much to use there, because it's such a small trailer. Definitely not an, a <laughs> an Airstream. <laughs> Uh, we're using ride height as standard right now, towing mode, ride soft, brake regen high, stability on. So that's the settings we're using for this trip. There's a little bit of a uh, wind from the south here. We're actually gonna do a loop test north. Uh, we're gonna go north and then south. So hopefully the, this will help with, you know, averaging out the, the efficiency. But we're gonna do a loop test here and see how how this is gonna go. Like there's nothing back there. Crazy. There it is. Alright, we're just getting into the highway here. So before we hop in the highway, our range already went up significantly. It started at 128 miles at 58%, and now we have 162 at 56%. So here's the here's what the trip is doing. Here's what's going on right now with the trip. Uh, so that's before the highway. We'll see what happens after we hit the highway right now. decided to actually go 65 miles an hour which is kind of a high speed for towing already right and not exaggerating our speed uh, the speed limit here is 70. we're gonna go slow let the trucks and the cars pass but be safe better safe so our gps speed actually is 64 is one less so we're gonna hold at 66 to go 65 on this loop so far, so good. It feels like there's nothing back there, actually. Also, 86 degrees outside. Pretty nice, pretty uh, regular camping weather. There's not how much wind there is right now. So it's pretty much tailwind right now, so we're gonna face a headwind on the way back of our loop test here going pretty well so far uh, right now we have 54 percent oh, it's just going up okay 172 miles of predicted range of course that's going to change on the way back it's still going up there welcome spring There's fish in there anymore. <laughs> we would be fishing them out if they were fishing there. <laughs> All 
All right, here we are. Again, we have tailwind, so it's not very, you can't measure much out of it. But with tailwind, this is what we're seeing at 49%, so almost 50%, 190 miles of range. So that's pretty good if you're going somewhere with tailwind and a trailer. Not bad at all. I'm sure the headwind's gonna kill this efficiency right now. All right, here's the turnaround point. So we're slowing down, we're gonna slowly turn around, slowly ramp up the speed as well on the ramp, but we're gonna get to uh, to the highway speed at the end of the ramp. That's the, that's the idea. Pretty good, pretty good range so far, but we'll see what the, what the headwind's gonna do with this truck and the trailer. the highway try to get 66 of course safety first so we're gonna make sure it's safe and off there we go so going really well here um you know i just want to show you where the dog likes to go We're just leaving the highway now. Here we are. That was that is 37.8 miles. We just have like a couple miles to go back. Uh, we're holding at 39%, 155 miles estimated range. Our efficiency is holding really nicely at 1.55 miles per kilowatt. I'm pretty confident that this truck can take a pop-up camper far. So that's very cool. There you go, Regen. I have nice. only touched the brakes one time, and I wasn't sure. So only I once? Regen. I've only, <laughs> only once in this whole trip. Wow. Oh, that's not bad at all. getting back and the efficiency on the headwind is it went down a little bit it's showing now 1.49 but we're away from the highway right now all right just to the end of our loop here we are so we drove 43.1 miles most highway just a little bit outside of the highway right this is our efficiency 1.59 miles per kilowatt hour total uh, on the highway, we finished it at 155, 53 miles an hour average. And here we are at the end of our loop. So I'm gonna come out here to the truck turn around so you guys can see how the setup looks like. Yes, now we can retire the Model Y as our towing vehicle if we are going to have the Rivian towing. Model Y does pretty well, but it cuts the range in half with that trailer. And it's just, it's just, it's pretty good, but it's 100 miles of range. That's what we get with the Model Y. So it charges super fast, but I'd like to see a little bit more range out of it just because of the lack of charging stations here in the upper Midwest, mostly Minnesota. All we have is 50 kilowatt chargers all over the place. I'd like to upgrade this at some point to something that doesn't carry any dinosaur juice. So, there you go. Side. 
side and rear sensors unavailable while towing. It's able to see him. Weird. It's interesting. Interesting to see that. So let, let me show you the setup. What was the final number there, actually? Point five nine, forty-four mile loop. Very cool, very efficient. So let's let me show you the setup here real quick. So again, R one T with twenty-one inch road, and we also we kept the, the caps on actually for efficiency. Now this trailer, pretty simple setup here. Uh, when we were using the Model Y, we actually used the weight distributing hitch to make it look uh, to make it feel a little better when traveling but it's a very light trailer so dry weight of uh, 1933 tongue weight is only 189 but I brought this to the cat scale and we actually saw uh, our trailer when it's full because right now it's full of water actually our water tank is full but when it's full is around 203 uh, 2300 pounds actually and the tongue weight goes up to uh, around 350 pounds tongue weight when we're doing that so that's that's the setup what do you think when when what do you think what do you think all right here we are and thank you for watching we'll catch you guys later